federal prosecutors across the country to charge suspects with the most serious crime that they can prove. Uh, and so the sentences here haven't changed, but the order is to pursue those charges that carry stiff penalties, and that's the major shift. And it's by no accident that the change where we'll see this the most is for crimes involving narcotics, because under the Obama administration, prosecutors were directed to avoid charging defendants who committed certain nonviolent federal drug offenses that would carry those mandatory minimums mm -hmm. in the hopes of reducing sentencing disparities, and with the idea being that those harsh sentences should only be reserved for the worst of the worst high-level drug traffickers. But Attorney General Sessions has reversed all of those previous directives today, saying the Justice Department is only enforcing laws that Congress has passed, Brooke. Okay, so you set it up perfectly, and Jason, just a little bit more on your personal story. You were convicted in 1998 uh, as a drug dealer in Texas. Uh, you spent 17 total years, 17 years behind bars. And while you have now moved on to be a mentor, um, I understand, I heard from my producer that you are nervous just coming on national TV, because why? Well, because, you know, people ask me, what do I think about Trump and him carrying on President Obama's uh, fantasy initiative. And I jokingly used to tell them, I feel that if Trump had the authority, he would probably put me back in prison and everybody else that uh, President Barack Obama released. Because it feels like he's kind of reversing everything to try to make it seem like uh, Barack Obama was never president. And I'm part of Obama's legacy. And I feel that, I mean, he has shown the kind of target in the uh, is in our country uh, through Twitter and other uh, media outlets. And I fear that if I say the wrong thing about him, not the best connection. Let me cross my fingers. I, I want to hear more from you, Jason, but the connection is not awesome. So, Laura, let me just pivot back to you and say, have we heard any reaction from the former AG, uh, Eric Holder, knowing his policies are being reversed? Yeah, Democratic lawmakers on Capitol Hill uniformly blasted this move, Brooke, and the former Attorney General Eric Holder, who does not come out on these issues often, saying the policy announced today is not tough on crime, it's dumb on crime. And it's an ideologically motivated, cookie-cutter approach that has only been proven to generate unfairly long sentences that are often applied indiscriminately and do little to achieve long-term public safety. Now, remember, U.S. attorneys' offices across the country only received this news last night, and they are the ones on the ground that are going to be in charge of implementing this new order, Brooke. Okay, Laura, thank you. Jason, I am so sorry for the connection. I promise you we will get you back on because your story is important to react to all that's happening. I appreciate you and your voice, uh, but meantime, we have to move on. Uh, weeks after the manhunt for the so-called...